how to use Jasper as a beginner. Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Jasper as a complete beginner and what are the different features and tools we get to create high quality content. Let's get started. The link for Jasper is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check out the link and get your own dashboard. So once you sign up for Jasper, this is where you will get. Let me show you around. So first of all, we have our own dashboard. This is our basic home where we get the overview of Jasper. I can always access dashboard by just clicking on the dashboard option here. In our dashboard, we of course see our different packages just so that we can stay updated. Then we have our favorite templates right here. There are more than 50 templates available on Jasper and they are the actually building blocks of Jasper that help us create different content. I can go ahead and favorite any of these different templates I like by just clicking this. And now they will be added to my favorites. If I go back to dashboard, I will be able to access them quickly. Then we have the join community option to just give us an idea that we should join the Facebook group. We can also check our credit balance and also get free credits right here and this option is available on dashboard. As I showed you before, templates are going to be accessible from this option and we can choose any of the template to work with. To open any template, you just click on it and it opens it up. Now you can go ahead and use it. The next option we have is the recipes. Recipes are pre-made commands for us that we can use. You can go ahead and choose from different featured recipe and run a recipe to create your own post. We can also create a new recipe of our own by clicking on this button right here. If you're using the post mode, then you will have the documents right here. Document is just like Google Docs and we can create our own brand new document from the scratch. Click on start from scratch and it will take you to this window right here. And now I can type in my blog post, article, book, whatever I want to write. And then we have the document trash here. Any documents that you delete will be found here. Keep in mind, the items here will be deleted permanently after 30 days. Then we have our AI outputs here. This is an important thing. We can find all of our data that we write on Jasper or AI commands that we gave Jasper right here. And I can go ahead and actually copy any of these I like and then paste them to my new document to create a new post. Similarly, I can make favorites by just clicking on this star. And I can add them to my favorites right here that I can access easily. If you want to delete some of the outputs or if you want to move them from one document to another, then you can just go ahead and select then you will find the option of move, delete, and then unselect. So I can delete in bulk and I can also move them into different projects. What are projects? At the bottom right here, you can go ahead and create different projects. Projects allow us to divide our Jasper and I can go ahead and create more than one projects for different clients and different team members. For example, click on this plus button and create a new project for work. Click enter and your new project will be created. We can go ahead and access them from here and within a project, we can create different documents and explore more. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. The link for Jasper is given in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out right now. You will be able to get a five day free trial with the link and also get 10,000 words. Also watch our other videos on Jasper so that you can learn more. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.